Historically, clinical trials have looked at large groups. Precision medicine really seeks to understand differences in the individual. The easiest way to look at precision medicine is it's the right drug for the right patient at the right dose. I like the NIH definition. They define precision medicine as an emerging field that focuses on the individual variability in genes, in lifestyle, and in environment. So in other words, how individuals vary in their response to drugs, and also how individuals handle a specific dose of a drug differently. The best example to use would be in oncology where the precision medicine approach is, is started to really take hold. And what we look for is, is a marker, a biomarker, that may indicate a uh, patient's suitability for a particular targeted therapy. Precision medicine it has already had a significant and profound impact on the way that we design clinical trials and the way that we develop drugs in general. Examples being the use of biomarker, especially genomic biomarker, enriched enrollment designs, where we basically select a subpopulation within the larger patient population that is most likely to respond in, in, on the drug and therefore enroll these in a clinical trial. The challenge is the amount of data that we're going to be collecting and the structured and unstructured data we're going to be collecting and how we're going to put that all together uh, to make sense out of it uh, and to be able to identify and target these patients for these very specific clinical trials based on some type of genetic marker or some kind of biomarker. I think some of the other challenges include uh, the regulatory framework and the regulatory challenges associated with that. In particular, you know, how do we protect patient confidentiality or the confidentiality of the individual patient and how do we ensure that access to this very sensitive data is secure and managed. So the CROs are really going to play a key role here, working with uh, sites, working with patient enrollment companies, working with technology providers. It's a really incredible time right now for medicine and, and for clinical research. We will see changes over time in the way we conduct clinical trials. 